Guys, today we have the 85 Bears added to Madden 24. Continuing my series of the greatest teams of all time added to Madden 24. So we have the Bears offense, right? This is pretty much this, right? The defense is what matters. And it's all led by Mike Singletary and William the Fridge Perry. So let's learn about this team. Starting off right away, starting at the left end position, we have Dan Hampton. We also have um, Steve McMichael, The Fridge, Richard Dent, Otis Williams, Wilson, Otis Wilson, Mike Singletary. We have Cliff, Cliff Thrift. That's an interesting name. Um, we also have some other guys in here like um, Keys. We also have Riviera um, at safety here. When we started to talk about Gary Fen Fennick. Gary Fennick. And in our strong safety is Dave Dunerson. Some very interesting names. Again, you know, this is the 85 Bears. This is names I have probably never heard of. Most of them I have, but not every single one of these have I heard of them. Um, now, when it comes to the secondary, we do have, of course, um, Mike Richardson. We have Leslie Fla uh, Leslie Frazier. We also have, um, which guy is this? Sean Gale? Sean Gale? Probably butchered that completely. Ken Taylor. And then we have Phillips. So, here is the 85 Bears. And also, if you're wondering why the portraits aren't working, for some reason, I add the portraits to Madden. The portraits are in Madden. But for some reason, they don't actually work in the game. I have no idea why, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting off right away, we have the Green Bay Packers and a young Jordan Love who has to play against this Bear squad. And offensively, they're not going to be that dangerous, I don't think. Defensively, oh, this is when things get bad, is when you have to play the Bears with their defense. All right, let's get right into it. In Soldier Field, also at home. I... Final score prediction is 14, no, I'm going to say 10 to nothing. Bears win. Oh, maybe, yeah, okay. See, last video we did the Steel Curtain defense, and they had a lot of shutouts. And they were just not allowing people to score at all. So that's why I have this weird feeling that we're going to see a little bit of shutouts today. But, okay, surprisingly enough, they did allow 14 points in the end. So, definitely a lot more points than I expected there. Um, defensively, though, they did have, was that, four and a half, five, five and a half, six and a half, seven sacks, and no interceptions. So, pretty damn good start to this video. Alright, second game here, guys. Sorry for the pause. I literally sneezed like 17 times. I don't know why, but my allergies are always going crazy. If you follow the channel, you already know that. But let's go ahead and get into this Buccaneers game because it's in Tampa Bay. So should be a little bit more tough of a game, in all honesty, just because, again, you have to play on the road here. But so far, the defense is getting the job done, doing exactly what they need to. The problem is now the offense. That might be the little bit of the issue, which <sighs> kind of expected this, and... From all the great defenses we have done, you know, over this, um, on this channel so far, the problem has always been the offense. The defense is not the problem. Defense gets the job done. Offense, when you have 185 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions, is usually the issue. And even a great defense, the best defense of all time, can only do so much to overcome an inept offense, right? You can't. They, I mean, they can score, obviously, on, you know, score touchdowns, but the, the defense can. But there's only so much they can do. They can't do everything in a cup of tea, right? So that's the only issue when it comes to some of these teams is that their <laughs> offenses are so bad that their defenses are so great. And it's funny, too. Can you look at all the teams, right? You have the no-fly zone, which was the um, 2015 Broncos. Great defense. Nowadays, the Broncos... They're not that good on offense. Russell Wilson's not the greatest quarterback. You have the Legion of Boom. 
offensively today, the Seahawks, not that great of an offense. That's a problem. 2,000 Ravens are the, like the best team to do. And obviously, that's the team that went to the Super Bowl in um, our simulation so far. And the Steel Curtain defense was also amazing. Um, the offense is still somewhat usable, I will say, to a certain degree. All right, come on. And uh, Patrick Mahomes wins. It's not saying much, to be honest, but I kind of expected it. And when Justin Fields throws two interceptions in a game, I don't know what you're supposed to do as a defense. I mean, they still had three and a half, four and a half, five sacks in that game and an interception. Five sacks in an interception in the game. Yeah, there's only so much as a team you can actually do before you're like, well, we did our best and yeah, we just hope that the rest of it actually worked out outside of that. All right, Darnell Wright. Here we go. Let's get into our next game now. We have to play the Denver Broncos. So it should be a lot easier of a ball game here. Shouldn't be that tough playing the Broncos. Again, like I just said, Russell Wilson, not the greatest quarterback, and now you're going against arguably the best defense of all time. I know the 85 Bears are up there. There's a lot of... That list is so long, though, like the best defenses of all time. Because now people are saying the Ravens this year, whereas they're on that list, 2,000 Ravens, LOB, uh, Steel Curtain, obviously the Bears, you have... What was it? 2009... There was a Saints roster that was actually really damn good, too. But another win for the 85 Bears. And somehow, someway, Justin Fields keeps having less than 200 yards passing. And still slowly gets the job done. Are we rushing the ball well? No. Well, I guess 49 yards and two touchdowns. Technically, we had over 100 yards rushing and three touchdowns. It just really spread out between all of our players and... In the weirdest way possible. It, it still technically counts. Alright. So I'm not going to do the upgrades. Because I have it auto set for the CPU to do the upgrades. So that should help out and fix the problems there. But let's go into this Commanders game. This is, should be an easy win. Easy win. Not tough at all. It's Thursday night football. So it's a short week. But you're playing a Commander squad. Who, real, realistically speaking, can't even compete on any par with this defense. Alright, there we go. 7-7. Seven, seven. You know, I trashed the Commanders, and now they're going to absolutely destroy me. Yep, yep, I trashed them. Should not have trashed them. Regret trashing them, and this offense for the Bears is so inept that they can't do anything. Oh, they almost came back. Funny thing is, I said they almost came back when the game wasn't even over yet, because I knew they wouldn't come back. <laughs> I had I had that sneaking suspicion that they would not be able to do it. Three sacks, one interception for the defense. <sighs> I feel so bad for this defense, man. I feel so bad for this defense that they have to deal with this offense. Alright, I'm gonna start simming from the main screen, like I always do, because I, I don't I don't want to go in these games anymore and feel so bad for this defense because it is just pitiful. Alright, three and two Vikings. Divisional game, 31-10, to 10, the Vikings win. Okay. Justin Fields. See, this is where, if you're the Bears, you draft Caleb Williams in this franchise, and then you get yourself a superstar, and you just build around your defense. Because, I'm sorry, you build around your quarterback because your defense can only take care of themselves. They just need a quarterback that can get the job done. Okay. Destroyed the Saints, ironically enough. Okay, they beat the Panthers. Now they play the Lions. They're at least going to be a playoff team, hopefully. Yeah, they're at least going to be a playoff team. 7-4. and four, Unless they, like, completely self-destruct. They beat the Vikings second time here in Minnesota, 21-0. Going to our bye week, what's our setup right going? All right, let's look at team schedule here. So, we play the Lions. That should be a win. Browns should be a win. Cardinals should be a win. Falcons and Packers. This should all be wins. There shouldn't be any reason why we don't have wins moving forward. With a 32nd ranked offense. Defensively, we're number one. Yeah, it's not surprising. Um, we give up the least amount of total yards. Which includes... 
Actually, we're not good against the pass at all. We're middle of the pack against the pass, but we destroy the run. We also allow the least amount of points. We have the most sacks by 11 sacks. We have the most forced fumbles by any team. And we are up there at interceptions as well. Justin Fields, 9 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. That is horrendous. He also leads the team in rushing. Receiving isn't really going anywhere. And even with our 10.5 sack William Perry, 10 sack Dan Hampton, and 9 sack Richard Dent, it's not really doing anything to help us here. Dave Durerson, um, Marshall getting interceptions. How many touchdowns do we have on defense so far? feel like we have a good, we should have a good amount. One. Okay. So our defense scored one time. It was like, you know what? We're, we'll give you one free touchdown, okay? And that's how it worked. All right, Lions game. They beat the Lions. That's a huge win. Now they play the 8-5 and five Browns. They beat the 8-5 and five Browns. I told you this team could win out. This team could win out if everything is correct. And they are winning out so far. All right. Wow. They're going to win out. Unless the Packers surprise us. No, they lost to the Packers. They won every game but one remaining on that schedule. So final 16 touchdowns, 7 interceptions for Justin Fields. 2,700 yards. That is so disgustingly bad. Uh, this team should not be 13 and 4. This team is 13 and 4, led by this defense. 1,000% led by this defense. Like, this offense shouldn't even have a cup of tea in the same conversation as this defense. I have 4,600 yards allowed, which is the least in the NFL. Um, pass yards, they got a lot better. They were actually top five in uh, pass yards allowed. Allow the at least amount of rushing yards by 400. And by the way, we're 12 and 5, not 13 and 4. Uh, least amount of points allowed. Most sacks by 12. Fumbles, most by 2. And interceptions, we came in 4th. I, I feel so bad for this defense, man. But now they play the Vikings in the wild card. And they beat the Vikings in the wild card. Okay, now they play the Panthers... In the divisional. They lose the Panthers by three. Man, that 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 is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking because if they even had any if they even had Kirk Cousins at quarterback, they could have won a Super Bowl with this team. Alright, so let's see the final. We have Carolina Panthers versus the Chiefs. And the Chiefs are going to win again. They won again, and that is all she wrote. Defensive Rookie of the Year was William Perry. Um, other than that, it, it was an interesting year, guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.